I'm hearing a lot of questions about garlic. Is it time? What am I supposed to be doing? Well, what you want to look for are the garlic scapes. And this is when the garlic starts to flower. Just like all bulbs, they're going to produce a flower. Now, they are just coming into their own. This particular garlic is just starting to do what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to curl downward. And literally within about six days, it will curl tightly into itself and it will start to flower. That is when we're going to cut it off. I'm not gonna cut it today, but for the class this coming week, I'm going to cut some off and show you what it should look like. Don't throw this away, it is so delicious. Garlic, right away, best taste you've ever had. Potatoes. I'm hearing a lot about the potatoes being in flower. And sure enough, I come out into our garden and they are in flower. Little purple flowers. This means that the baby potatoes are starting to form and we should be able to start harvesting new potatoes off of them. Myself, I'm not I'm not ready to harvest new potatoes yet. However, I am going to look and keep an eye on these and they might get harvested a bit early, but I want them to stay in the ground because I want big potatoes. Radishes. Last week I was told the radishes in our garden were phenomenal. We've just walked to the back to look at them and they've bolted. They've gone to flower. But I understand from talking to everybody that they're absolutely fabulous. But I want to show you, see how it's bolted and look at the size of that stem. So honestly, I think I'd be pulling this one out because, but this is an icicle radish. They are delicious. I'm taking this one home for supper. But look at the size of these babies coming out of the ground. They're phenomenal. So. I'm gonna have one of them. But what I just noticed is, that's the biggest radish I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill this one up and I'm gonna pull. I think I could win a prize with this, but I'm gonna pull it and I'm gonna eat it tonight and I'll report next week. I just spotted something before I deadhead. We have spit bugs. See the froth right here? See all that lovely soapy froth? Now, if I'm gonna squeeze it out of there, and with any luck, there he is. See the caterpillar? But that's how he makes himself, and look, he's gonna try and get off my thumb. But they have a winged body, and he's gonna fly away on me pretty quick, but he's trying to protect himself from the hot sun and the birds eating him. So squash, Steph, he's gone. <laughs> At this time of year, I start deadheading or picking my perennial flowers. And I'm going to pick the heads because this Veronica is particularly a pretty one. And I want to get some of the seed heads off. The seed heads all along this stem are just mature and they're just coming into their own. So I'm going to take these home, sit them on my kitchen counter with a piece of white paper under them and the seeds will shed onto the paper and I will get more Veronica seeds. Great thing. But if you look through the garden, you can see where the poppies have been flowering and you can see that they're, they're gorgeous. These seed heads aren't ready yet. They need to dry enough so that when you flick them, you see a few seeds fall down. So those are some that I would pick right away. We have some more lovely flowers with seed heads on them. But look at that. Some really gorgeous masterwort. So those spiny things are going to make seed heads for me. So I would go through this whole area and to get more blooms on the daylilies, I'm going to get all those daylily heads taken off. 